Howdy, everyone. My name's Nicholas, and welcome to the Headliner Pod Pod. For those of you not in the know, we're a show about podcasts featuring podcasts by podcasters that's hosted by people who help podcasters with their podcasting. On every episode of the show, a few of the folks over at Headliner sit down to play a game that centers around listening to randomly selected clips from over 500 show submissions we've gotten from podcasters. Why? So that we can find something we call Pod Zero. Here are the rules. Each lucky contestant will hear a 60-second podcast clip. Then, they'll need to pick the correct podcast title from a lineup of three choices. Before we get the show on the road, though, let's say hi to each of our contestants for today. Starting with Oliver. If you're watching this, you'll see that there's a beam of sunlight illuminating my pink face. Hi. Next, we have Max. Good call, y'all. <laughs> We've got Jesse. Woohoo! <laughs> and Christy. Let's go! <laughs> the noise gate came in halfway through that, so it sounds like you just <laughs> fell into like a Looney Tunes hole in the ground <laughs> at some point. <laughs> but we are also joined by Alyssa, who has a fun little announcement for us. Okay, I had to check that I wasn't on mute, but hi, everybody. I do have a fun little announcement for you all. So here it goes. Headliner helps podcasts grow their audience by providing tools to create and promote their content on social media. With our Make Plus Eddie Flow, you can easily create social media content while optimizing your podcast. Eddie's podcast promo pack offers four AI-generated episode art options featuring your brand colors and now includes copy options for social media. You can also use Make to create podcast clips like you always have, perfect for promoting your podcast on social media. By mixing and matching clips, leftover episode art, or copy options, you can streamline your podcast promotion process. To access these features and more, visit make.headliner.app and try clicking transcribe. Neat. So... With that out of the way, let's get started with our first clip for today. And I'm going to pick, you know what? Let's go in the order I named everyone, starting with Oliver. My eyes are closed. Awesome. Sweet. Came closed. Really is about strategy. And in that, there's personal power. If we can actually feel like we have gotten what really, really matters, there's personal power. The more that we are engaged in the court system, the more that we lose our footing, the more harm it is to us psychologically and to our children. Some of you can't let go. Some of you, there's too much at stake. I get it. Absolutely, I get it. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about the people who don't have as much at stake. I'm talking about finding the peace, knowing that they're going to continually weaponize the court system against you, and finding the peace that you can by walking away from as much as you can, letting go of the rope, strategizing, staying two steps ahead of them. Okay, so getting things off with a bit of a serious clip and definitely something that's coming across as very well-spoken and informed. So, Oliver, here are your three options for this clip to help you pick a name. Number one is help and reform. Number two, Perfect Prey Podcast. And number three, Navigating the Aftermath with Dr. Christie. Oh, okay. I really want to know what the podcast is about from that clip. It could be so many different things. I know it's something serious, but I don't know what that serious thing is. So based on the fact that it's taking place in a courtroom, mm -hmm. I'm going to throw out the one number two that was something about praying. Perfect Pray Podcast. Perfect Pray Podcast. Which, for the record, it's P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y. Well, that's good to know. Um, I still want to take that one out. Okay. Let's remove that one. Now, Dr. Christie is almost so hard to believe that it might be the right one. Because as you all know, we have a Christie on this very podcast. We do. Yeah. It's Dr. It's Dr. Christie, Oliver. 
So like, <laughs> what what kind of a doctor are you if you're a doctor, Christy? Just cure, for my sake. Oh, man. Um, I'm in the market, you know. It, it'd be a green thumb, Dr. Green Thumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Duly noted. So, okay, I know what I want to go with. I believe I'm falling into a reverse bear trap, but I'm going to go with option three. Navigating the aftermath with Dr. Christie. Yep. That is unfortunately incorrect. I'm sorry, Oliver. It was actually Perfect Prey Podcast. It was. Yeah. Sorry, the doctor let you down. He has a green thumb, but not much else. So <laughs> <laughs> let's find out what this podcast was about by reading its description. Dr. Christine Kokiola, DSW, LCSW, is a coercive control educator, researcher, survivor, and protective parent. With 20 years of experience in social work education, she focuses on coercive control and the trauma experienced by adult and child victims. Dr. Kokiola provides coaching and support to help victims navigate parenting in the aftermath of harm. She's developed educational programs for protective parents and their allies and actively advocates for the recognition of coercive control. So there you have it. It's a very serious subject, but it sounds like we've gotten someone with some pretty good accolades talking about it, and it looks like a well-informed show. Moving on to our second clip for the day. Unless anyone has any comments about this one, we have Max. Let's do it. Okay. I have some friends who've been there, done that, and I just feel like I'm nowhere near <laughs> like the kind of profile that they are. I think trial and error was just like, okay, uh, today there is a rat. <laughs> what can we do about it? Okay, uh, today, a guy is kicking everywhere. And especially because compost, like... You have the element of smell, you have the element of uh, um, leachate, you have, so it's really, it's not something that you can really avoid. At some point, you just really have to take care of it. So I think a lot of um, my trial and error was just because I had to, <laughs> just to stay mindful of my roommates, They're like out of respect for them. Um, so Okay. So, Max, your three options for today are Lifeline, Stories of Changemakers for the SDGs. I Speak for the Trees. And number three, Embracing the Stink, Learning to Compost Abroad. Wow. Yeah, we're not Good going options. easy on you. You got a little too comfortable the past few weeks. I mean... It Feels like a no contest between the first one. Let's see how how hilariously wrong I might be, but I'm just going to go with number one. Okay. Lifeline, stories of change makers for the SDGs is... Are you sure you don't want to switch? Because this might get really embarrassing for you. Just... I'm ready. I'm ready yeah, to be correct. <laughs> Whoa! Correct? <laughs> there, was, there was no way I was going to talk you out of that, was there? You know, when you throw SDGs in there... I was like, there's no way one of the fake titles has STG. But that's a good note for the next round. Yeah. If you throw some technical acronym in like 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 that, I will probably think that's the right one. Let's let's make a note of that, Alyssa. Let's just the next time something like that crops up, put SDGs after all of them. I'm blanking on what SDGs are. I once knew what this stood for. Sustainable. I, uh I don't remember. But something like sustainable something goods. growth. Or goods, maybe, yeah. Growth, I don't, yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I like the topic. Obviously, yeah, composting, sustainability, good stuff. And I'm detecting maybe a French accent. I don't know. Can we get our accent detector to verify that? That would be my guess. I didn't look it up, so I'm a bad oh, producer. Yeah, you're probably busy with other stuff. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Okay. very busy over here producing and stuff. Yes. Priority one is not figuring out every accent in every I know. Trip. I know. My gift is... I don't think it's French, though. I will say that. Yeah, um, I didn't think it was French either. No I think I have a guess, but I'm not confident. Enough. But I think yeah. it says it actually weirdly on the episode art. But anyways, continue. Okay, so 
let's learn a little bit about this podcast by reading its description, and then maybe we'll find out where it happened, you know, or where the person's from. Meet changemakers from all around the world. And get your weekly dose of inspiration to take action. We're having deep and authentic conversations with social entrepreneurs, activists, leaders, intrapreneurs, and unsung heroes to understand what shaped who they are today. Lifeline is a podcast made to amplify the voices of those who work hard to make a difference. We believe they have a strong message that deserves to be shared with the world. Get bonus content on Patreon, hosted on Acast. So, the answer to your question, Max, was all around the world. It's a global phenomenon. We're yeah. in this together. Let's all do some composting later. Yeah, exactly. And it has Kaka a nice little... <laughs> You just had to add the caca, y'all, parentheses at the end. It works um, in all contexts. It just adds any statement you're making through a caca, y'all, on it. Yeah. And it amplifies it. Little trick, little podcasting tip for all the listeners out there. You can make that your uh, email sign off, your signature at the end, caca, y'all. Or like, it's it's sort of like the Cowboy Bebop, the Sea of Space Cowboy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Caca, y'all, podcast, yeah. cowboys and cowgirls. Yeah. But no, it's a it's inter- it's an interesting premise for a show. It's about a good thing, you know, composting. We all can probably stand to do a bit of that. Um, and I like the artwork on the audiogram itself. It was good and it was clean. So interesting Who show. Composts? What's that? Does anyone here compost? I, I don't know. Nat- I keep out. meaning to start. <laughs> I do. It rules. I think it's illegal in New York. Like I don't know if you can just throw your food in the plant in the like in the city like can you just throw your banana peels into the bushes maybe uh, don't you but... compost like your wind like you have a little thing out your window you compost in or something in, right you, in I brooklyn at least they have a composting um program where they come and collect mm. it and i think it's just used to incinerate so to, i don't actually think they compost i think they use it to like <laughs> I'm an incinerator that's what that's what the food co-op people told me anyways Oh, uh, we we have a composter, and so we do is like we put all of our extra stuff in there, and it basically turns it into dirt, and so we put it into our garden. So mm-hmm. it like you could use it for that kind of stuff because it's just really really good for like making dirt good again. Um, but that's about it. Interesting. We uh, compost horse crap and eggshells and coffee grinds together, and it makes amazing corn for it. Fertilizer. Fun fact for you. Make Ooh. dirt good. Yep. You learn a lot. And yeah, as Jesse repeated, make dirt good. That might actually be my new favorite phrase. I like that. Yeah. It has a nice Wait, ring to it. Do you like it more than cacao? I might. Jesus. <laughs> Look, Max, I have a low barrier to entry. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Jesse for our third clip. All right comes to drugs, then Mark has a conflicting approach. Getting illegal drugs doesn't seem to be too difficult, but getting legal drugs can be. Hashish, which is illegal in Denmark, was until recently very easy to procure at Pusher Street in the so-called Free State of Christiania. Christiania is one of the tourist attractions of Copenhagen, This old military base, which was taken over by hippies during the 1970s, is a unique place with dirt roads and ramshackle wooden buildings put together with odds and ends and some gorgeous wild nature, which is surprising to find in the middle of a European capital city. Pusher Street was a row of wooden booths where, until recently, buyers could choose from a wide selection of hashish being sold openly. Okay. There we have it. That was our third clip. And here are your options, Jesse. All right. Number one. Number one, how to live in Denmark. Number two, more than windmills, wine, and weed, a deep dive into Denmark. Or number three, Denmark's dark side. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of leaning toward number three here. Uh, My hashish meter. (laughs) <laughs> is uh it's definitely pointing me it's glowing a little red yeah yeah wouldn't it be green like... but okay never mind yeah moving on <laughs> <laughs> so i think i'm gonna lock in uh, uh number three there 
Denmark's dark side. Okay, that is incorrect. I'm so sorry, Jesse. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> the correct answer was actually how to live in Denmark. Uh, so. uh, that, see, I mean, that is good advice. I mean, I can't imagine Denmark's that bad. It's like, hey, if you want to live here, get some hashish. Yeah, just so you know, it is illegal there. So <laughs> good, good title do, for a podcast. I do know a bit about Christiania. I believe that's how you say it. Yeah. And I think that there's no police force there, by the way. Really? So it's probably not illegal in Christiania. Okay. Got it. Good it's like to an know. anarchist zone. You just like you step through it and the purge starts like the movie. <laughs> They're right there oh, waiting for you at the border. Yeah. It's like a case study. And when you remove all the laws, it's like, oh, it's going to be chaos. It's like, nope, just a bunch of people smoking hashish and chilling out, listening to music. The only, thing, probably. the only real complaint <laughs> is that they're composting a bit too much and then there's a one too many drum circles. Sure, I get it. I'm it hip just with smells it. a little bad over there, you know? <laughs> they're peaceful. Anyway, let's learn a little bit about how to live in Denmark, which I'd like to add my personal parenthesis to the title is step one, get a visa. But that's just <laughs> me being me. All right, let's learn about this show. Life as an international in Denmark one of the world's most homogenous countries isn't always easy. In Denmark's longest-running English-language podcast, K. Xander Mellish, an American who has lived in Denmark for more than a decade, offers tips for enjoying your time in the world's happiest country, plus insights on Danish culture and how to build friendships with Danes. So, pretty interesting. I didn't know that Denmark was considered the world's happiest country, so consider me, consider like my interest peaked, you know? It checks out. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know that much about Denmark, to be honest. So, jumping into our fourth clip, we have Christy at bat now. Um, hold on, let me get my little my little thing. Okay, I thought you were pulling a real bat out. No, be impressed for a second. <laughs> the winged animal, by the way, not the baseball. <laughs> so you said with mutants in the mix, that's your one of your upcoming projects that you have coming. That you're going to have a lot more like breeds of dogs and like a lot more of the the pet animals, right? So uh, that's. You... Would you uh, say that your like some of the the things that you're changing with your your animal tables and everything would be coming into the mutants in the mix as well? Because I can see there being like a whole uh, section almost on just what a pet animal existence was like before turning and like what their relationship to their owners was. Like, yeah. are they trying to fight ninjas because their owner was kidnapped by the foot or what? Like, <laughs> well, in the wild, right? You know? Yeah. Like yeah. there's a lot of possibilities to me that I feel like could be explored. Yeah, no, it's, it's and, to, and to clarify, that's means in the archive. That's oh, from sorry. the archive. Yeah. It's from the archive that's gonna have that um use the mix is gonna be the system hacking resource. Right. right. Um but uh, yeah, no, it's absolutely lets, lets me sit down and I have on uh, my outline. Okay. So right. here are your choices, Christy. Number okay. one, mutant immunity. Number two, epic tales from the sewers. And number three, below NYC, a TMNT tale that's spelled T A I L. P.S. Yes, turtles have tails. Is the PS, yes, Turtles Have Tails part of it? That's a part of the title. I know that it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle podcast because they mentioned the foot and like they're talking about like animals, you know, turning into mutants or whatever. Sure. Um, so the third one is really long, but you've been you've been pretty good at like screwing me over. So I'm going to, I'm going to go, actually, no, I'm going to go with that third one, the really long one. Okay. I'm going to lock that in. You're going to lock that in below NYC, yeah. a TMNT tail, PS, yes, tails, turtles have tails, not tails yes. have turtles. Yes. Okay. That is incorrect. Ah! It's actually, epic tales, T-A-L-E-S from the sewers. Just specifying uh. that. Yeah, so you sorry, got me Christy. again. You got me again. It could have been harder. Actually, it might have been easier if I made these titles because I would have actually made more Ninja Turtle references, which might have either given it away or not. 
Yeah, that makes sense. But, you know, uh, anyway, I'm plotting my revenge now. Yeah. One of these days, I just I feel like you guys have to all be the host and I have to just field six questions in a row. Yeah. Oh, It'll be yeah, like my own good. personal Saw movie, to be honest. So, OK, um, let's learn about this Ninja Turtles podcast. An exciting and in-depth look into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with comics, movies, animation, video games and toys. That's it. That's the that's the description. Short, sweet and to the point. So. Pretty cool podcast. I'm not much of a Ninja Turtles person, but I can respect it. It's definitely a complicated enough subject to need one because there's so much. There's a lot to it. Yes. Yeah. So now that everyone's gone, we get to do our favorite part where we break up into teams and we can do two more questions. I don't know how we'll break up the teams, but I'm leaning towards putting Max and Oliver on a team and Christy and Jesse on a Let's team. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, good. There doesn't seem to be any blood vendettas in these teams I've put up already. Okay, perfect. So going first, we have Max and Oliver. I've heard that as well from, from one of, uh, I think, uh, from in LinkedIn, from one of my uh, network there. So from one yeah. of the friends there. So it, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's eye contact. Uh, powered by AI, so it's a tool for for broadcasting. So it it made by Nvidia Broadcast. Maybe if you're you know if you haven't tried that, probably you know you could you could check that out. But again, again, it's really you know like what Kerry said. It's really about you know practicing, you know honing those skills uh, over and over again, and of course finding the right mentor, finding the coach to really help you gain that confidence in front of the camera and and speaking of being a mentor Carrie I know you you are using uh, I mean you are doing some programs as well right okay there's your clip firing off the titles real quick number one the design of life show number two inside AI or number three cracking the code Navigating the job search. Seems like a hard one. Yeah, what this isn't think? that easy. What are you thinking, Oliver? I was hoping you had something. I don't know. I could give you guys, <laughs> I could make it even harder by giving you a fourth option based off of a mispronunciation I almost did. Yes. Inside <laughs> Al. <laughs> Inside Love that. Because the capital I looks like an L. Yes. Yeah. True. Well, what was the first one? The Design of Life Show. The design of life show. Certainly something about AI in there, but I couldn't tell if it was making an app or you used an app or they used an app. But then he was talking about coaching and stuff too. So was the AI just to become better at making a video? For the last one that was about life coaching or something like that? What was the last option? Cracking the code, navigating the job search job search There's AI in there too unless they're telling you to use AI to like make sure you look really good in interviews on a video call using some eye tracking thing he was talking about Nvidia so it, you might not be wrong really I didn't hear Nvidia in there wild no. he mentioned Nvidia and they do have an eye tracking webcam thing we know that if Nicholas is pushing us towards this one it's certainly wrong I mean you don't know that <laughs> yeah we do we might. No. Yeah, we, we, we might. <laughs> After 72 tr acts of trickery, yep. this is the time you're trying to help us? I don't know. <laughs> I had a change of heart. <laughs> it's the boy Craig podcast. Yeah. The boy yeah, who cried AI. Who <laughs> cried Al. <laughs> what was that Paul Simon song about Yeah, Al? you could call me Al. Call me Al. So can we rewrite that with AI and you can call me AI? We can certainly That's try funny. to. That's actually funny you mentioned that. Stalling. I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't dissuade you from the AI one though, because like all of them kind of imply AI, right? Yeah, that's why it's so hard. They yeah. all could. They all seem like they speak about the subject pretty well. Yeah, AI is everywhere. Maybe. Is it in the room with us right now, Max? Oh, it's here. <laughs> so is Al. <laughs> Oliver, let's just do a hail mary. Hail Mary. 
Let's just go with Inside the Actors Studio or whatever it was. I think it's the third one. Was that the third? <laughs> you mean Cracking the Code, Navigating the Job Search or Inside Al? <laughs> what was the first one again? The Design of Life Show. I don't think it's design. I think it's I think it's either Inside AI or the, the job search one. Let's go for the second one. Yeah, Inside, Inside AI. AI. Okay. So that is incorrect. It was actually Inside Al. No, I'm kidding. The Design of Life show <laughs> oh, wow. is the correct answer. Well, that's official though, this week. Everyone yeah. I get, I'm just immediately like, throw that one out and it's the right <laughs> one. <laughs> well, you know. So let's find out a bit about this show so we can learn why it's called that. The Design of Life show is a podcast that helps everyone grow to live a meaningful and creative life. Filipino designer J. Chris Tevis, best known for being an advocate of essentialism and optimism, sits down with awesome people to talk about their journey, their process, and the lessons they've learned along the way. So you guys were kind of right in the sense that it is like a coaching sort of podcast and that, you know, AI worked into that because it's 2023 interesting stuff you're kind of right if we if we'd heard that description max we would have gotten it without you know right yeah if i just crossed out the title at the beginning yeah i might have needed to see the cover art and listen to a couple episodes before i would have gotten it yeah and i would need to see the title as well (laughs) (laughs) just in case you actually need him saying it to you on a phone call just confirm it yeah yeah i've already forgotten it (laughs) <laughs> I, that podcast seems up my alley i might check it out actually yeah it sounds pretty good and you know what i'm a sucker for a good filipino accent because i'm half filipino so i was like sold from the beginning of the clip so there you go nice moving on to our final clip of the day jesse and christy are you guys ready we're ready yeah let's do it i played 500 points 300 i don't know but it's a lot so every single one is going to end with someone losing. There's It's impossible for both to win. So there's a lot of chances to beat yourself up. And so I have a lot of groups that have to stop and, and I always tell them, listen, that was not your fault. You were in the right place at the right time and they were better than you. They hit a great shot. And I'll tell people, stop trying to figure out what you did wrong and just look over there and tell that person how great they are. Great shot. That was amazing. Really good. Whatever positive words you want to give to them. And then you're finished. There is no fixing of that because there was no nothing you did wrong. Hey, you guys played better than us that time. That's the idea. And move on. You don't have to find a blame for you or your partner every single point. That's crazy. All right. Awesome. Some deep stuff happening okay. there. Here are your titles. Number one, Pickleball World with Scott Fix. Number two, Order on the Courts with Scott Fix. Number three, How to Take the L. Just Get Over with Scott Fix. I Are there any that are like total no's for you? For me, that's like number three. Yeah, that could be it. I mean, I'm kind of leaning toward number one and number two because they said uh, it's pickleball and then they said courts and they were talking about uh, scoring points so we know it's some kind of sport and they it's also said partner. yeah yeah and so I think we, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a two-person thing so i think pickleball is a really strong option i don't know much about pickleball other than it's pretty much uh, like you talk about it the same as tennis you gotta it's, in, you, it's indoor paddle tennis paddle is, it, is it can pickleball be as a team yeah okay Okay. All right. You um, you're leaning toward number one or number two? Yeah, I'm leaning towards number one. All right, I'm good with that. I think. All right, uh, we, we're we're one. locking in. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Number one, pickleball world with Scott Fix, is incorrect. You guys should have picked the third one because then you'd be wrong, but you would also learn how to take the L. Oh, yeah. oh man. That? burn no way you uh, set up that fake answer just to burn us at the end with it i did yeah i didn't that's write so these screwed up man that's, that's pretty so good up. <laughs> yeah narratively that was like yeah. pinpoint accuracy it was a Chekhov's gun if ever i've heard one anyway the yeah. correct title is order on the courts with scott fix on being in caps so incredible here's a little bit about this podcast 
Career tennis and pickleball coach Scott Fix discusses various topics in the tennis, pickleball coaching, and business world, along with other life lessons and current events. I've made a career out of making stuff up. This podcast might have something for players and coaches looking for new ideas. It could also be an incredible waste of time that you'll never get back. I really related to when he said that he's made a career out of making stuff up and that he might be wasting our time. That just yeah, spelled like a lot. I actually kind of want that to be the name of my memoir someday. <laughs> well, we were right on the money, Christy. Right yeah, on man. Money. I'm 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 glad, man. Uh, shoot and miss, but you know we're getting closer. <laughs> yep. Talk so about this learning was a no hitter. KPL. Yeah, I don't no, think a single Max one got, got it right. One right. Yeah, Max got his right. Oh, nice, Max. Oh man, right. coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Max is big <laughs> week. <laughs> Max was a champion this week. Everything's looking up Millhouse. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. I remember. Yeah, but you you guys have learned how to take the L, and uh, yeah. now I'm shooting back to the top. I've taken the L every week and learned my lesson. So, you know, I love that Max great. has won for like the first time, and he has an acceptance speech prepared. Like, this, yeah, this is like borderline Oscar I'm, level. I love it. I'd like to announce my retirement from the game. I'm going to retire <laughs> at the top. I will be undefeated because this was the only episode that counted. No takey backsies. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. He's quitting while he's on top, and nobody will ever hear from him again until next week. Probably. Perfect. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. The next time they hear from us. So no one actually will hear from him next week. Okay. He'll be too busy gloating about it at the dinner table. Anyway. Yeah, I got something to talk about on Thanksgiving now. <laughs> all, all my family members, how great I did. You just, you you walk into I'm the Greatest by Ringo Starr. Yes. So, here we go. This is the end of the episode. I hope everyone listening enjoyed it. We'll be back soon with another one. And we'll see if Max can hold on to his title or not. Bye-bye. I'll be training. Bye, everybody. <laughs>